Hello, I'm Keith Morrison, and this is a Dateline Mini Mystery. Here's Dennis Murphy. 911, is this a fire, police, or medical emergency? The 911 operators in Pinellas County, Florida, are used to dealing with life and death emergencies. But this one was different. Oh, no, Pam. Okay, they're on their way, all right? Oh, I you... don't think she's breathing. Oh, please, sir. Very quick. Something unspeakable had happened to Diane Kine. A senseless, violent act. A murder mystery with lots of clues, but few answers. She was the most wonderful lady I've ever met. When Bill Kine met Diane, a vivacious blonde with a ready smile, he knew he was a lucky man. The single dad with five kids was getting a second chance at love. She was actually what I consider my dream girl. Anyone who was in trouble, they could always count on her. And the person who counted on her most was her son, Kevin. Me and my mom, every day when we woke up, every night before I'd go to bed, we'd say we love each other. We were best friends. Bill and Diane married in 2002. By 2010, Kevin, now 23, was jobless and still living at home. His parents were ready for the next chapter of their lives and his. Diane and I wanted to get out on our own, start our own life together. We were looking for a place of our own. But Kevin comes too. No, you're 23 years old. It's time for you to be on your own. August 15th, 2010, a hot Florida Sunday. It happened a little before 2 p.m., a desperate call to 911. It was Kevin on the line. Okay, calm down. Then, moments later, another call, a different voice. Kevin's stepfather, Bill. I just killed my wife. I'm my wife, where are you? And he was shook here. Two calls from the same location, just minutes apart. Kevin Kine and his stepfather Bill, each accusing the other of murder. Just 49 years old, the loving mother and wife was dead. And one thing was certain, either her husband Bill or her son Kevin had brutally killed her. But which one? The case would be a tough one. It went to veteran homicide detective Jim Bining. We've got to interview the, the two people that were there. Who do you begin with? We begin with Bill. Bill said he caught Kevin red-handed, committing an act of murder. I see Kevin on top of Diane. I ran in, grabbed Kevin from the back, pulled him back off of Diane. He slammed me back into the armoire. He was throwing me around like I was a rag doll. Bill said Kevin had a violent streak and had once brandished a knife against his mother. He had a knife in his hand, and it scared the heck out of her. Kevin says that never happened. But things got so bad, said Bill, that he and Diane gave Kevin a deadline to leave the house. Just five weeks before that date, Diane was dead. Did Kevin Kine kill his mother, Diane? Yes. And the reason he did it? Because he was being kicked out of the house and wanted to get his own way. But when investigators talked to Kevin about what happened that tragic day, he pointed the finger straight back at his stepdad. Bill tapped me on the head and said, your mom needs to talk to you right now. And as soon as I pushed the door open, he grabbed me from the back of the neck and put me in a chokehold. Build it. Yes, sir. And I was screaming, mom, 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 please help me. I did break free. I ran as fast as I could. Are you running away from a murder scene? Yes, sir. I'm running away from somebody that had just murdered my mother. Kevin says the motive for his mother's murder is obvious. She was worth more dead than alive to his stepdad. Let me hear your indictment for Bill Kine for murder. Kills your mother, why? Money. $750,000 could help him out a lot. $750,000. That's what Diane's life insurance policy was worth. And when police looked into it, they discovered something else. Bill had collected on a life insurance policy before, that of his first wife. No, Bill had a previous marriage, and they lived at the same home and uh, he had a wife that was with a drowned in the pool. Bill's first wife, Krista, died in the middle of the night. Police ruled it an accident. Do you know how much money was paid out on her death? I believe it was uh, approximately 250,000. Then the forensic evidence seemed to place Bill directly at the crime scene. Testing showed his DNA profile on a sample taken from Diane's neck. 
And the reason that you should not be looked at for her murder is what? I didn't do it. I'm the one that pulled her murderer off of her that day. But Kevin had already told detectives that that was all lies. He hadn't been near his mother, never made it into the bedroom. Detectives, however, knew they'd found something important inside, and it belonged to Kevin. His glasses were found at the bottom of the bed. Which seems to belie his statement that he didn't get into the room. Right. And three specks of blood had been found on Diane's leg and more on her bed cover. Lab analysis showed it was Kevin's blood. The prosecutor asked Kevin about it in front of a grand jury. I said, you know, your blood was found on your mom's leg. What's your explanation for that? I have no explanation. In the battle of competing stories, the blood evidence broke the tie. Kevin Kine was charged with first degree murder. Kevin's lied, his DNA is in the room, it's consistent with Bill's story, it's inconsistent with his story. Therefore, he did it. Kevin did not take the stand in his defense. He was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. But an appeals court ordered a new trial after ruling that some evidence against Kevin should not have been admitted. Bill Kine. The defense had pulled its punches on Bill Kine in trial one, but not this time. He's the obvious suspect. Now it seemed as though Bill was the one on trial. Bill Kine has lied over and over and over again. He's lied to save his own skin. He's lied to protect himself. He's lied to set up my client for murder. And the state expects you to convict Kevin based on that man's word. And unlike the first trial, Kevin Kine took the stand in his own defense. His attorneys instructed him to look straight at the jurors. We said, if you expect them to believe what you're saying, you better look them in the eye and tell them the truth. Kevin, did you kill your mom? No, ma'am. It took the jury six hours to reach a verdict. The defendant is found not guilty. So not guilty. The jury foreman said he believed Kevin's story, not Bill's. I was devastated. I couldn't believe it. Sometimes the bad guy wins. Now, Kevin's got a second chance at life. He says he's dedicating it to his mother. I am going to be the man that she wanted me to be. So in the end, what do we make of this mind-boggling whodunit where no one can say for sure who murdered Diane Kine, leaving a husband and son still pointing the finger at each other, still professing love for Diane, but one of them still defiantly lying about having killed her. Hey, Dateline fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch digital exclusives and original content from the creators of Dateline.